Welcome back. I'm still in conversation with Dr. Rajendra Badwe. Uh, Dr. Badwe, we have been talking about the Northeast, uh, and I'm sure there are quite a number of other things which you'd like to talk. What are some of the other findings? What are some of the other cancers uh, which you have found uh, high in the Northeast? Lung cancer is quite high in that region, and uh, a lot of it is attributable, almost all of it is attributable to smoking. But smoking is a national phenomenon, is it, across the yes, country? Yes, but you will find that if temperatures during winter are low, then one tends to inhale that smoke much deeper. A person in uh, closer to sea level will have his ambient temperature never going below 30, 25. Right, right. His ability, he'll be most uncomfortable if he's inhaling that hot smoke in. He is a mouth smoker. He will get the same high that he gets out of tobacco. Yeah. But he is he's a not, not inhale it. He's not inhaling it. So you will find that this cancer would be higher in northern regions where mm -hmm. at least five months of the year the temperatures are low. And what are other types of cancer that worries you today? Oh, cancer. There are lots of uh, cancers that are related to obesity. There are five, obesity. Cancer, five cancers related to obesity. One of them is breast cancer. The other is body uterus cancer. Third is kidney cancer. Fourth is lower end of food pipe, esophagus, upper end of stomach, and lastly colon. Each of these cancers are preventable if we reduce obesity. And obesity can be reduced only if we have two or three important aspects. One is that we need to exercise. We need to have the best solution would be if business sector in every city is made a walking zone. Don't let vehicles come in there. Every time you're getting down during, during your lunch time, yeah. you have to walk. Similarly, let there be incentive for uh, roads wherein there are demarcated cycle lanes. I, I, I would be very happy if individuals come on to bicycle, get into their offices, have a quick shower, and get into his jacket and has, he's, he's the executive of the, fa of the company. Yeah. That is kind of culture that we would love to have. I remember there was the chief of pathologist uh, yeah. at uh, Guy's Hospital in, in London where I worked for two years. And this gentleman used to come cycling and I used to wonder, I've seen him somewhere. And there he was in his jacket. Absolutely. You have worked in several other parts of the world. You have worked in Japan. You have worked in the UK. Uh, I mean, what is the difference? Uh, you have been here for a very long time now. Uh, so do you think this is going to ever change? I think we have some good things compared to the, the Western health society or healthcare system. We do have medicines which are easily available. Medicines that are cheap. This is not the case globally. Something that would cost a simple antibiotic that will cost 60 rupees for a strip of 10 in this country will cost about anywhere up to about $100 for four tablets in the United States. That's the saving grace for us. So that's, that's good for us. We do have, as far as cancer is concerned, much less cancer than what the West has. That's another good thing. We have a good cafeteria choice. That there are hospitals where you want, if you want, you could go and pay and have treatment. There are places where you can have subsidized treatment. There are places where you can have free treatment. Absolutely. And uh, lastly, uh, Dr. Badwi, I can go on and on talking to you, but all good things, uh, discussions must come to an end. Uh, at the end, is the situation in India alarming? Are you a worried man or you are not so worried? Uh, we have lots to do. What is the situation? How would you wrap up? There is lots that can be done. I would love to have absolute uniform care across the country. Focused research for our own problems. We need to do research in head and neck cancer, tobacco related cancer. Nobody else is going to do it because this cancer is not there outside of our country. We need to do focused research related to stomach cancer, gallbladder cancer I mentioned. And we need to do cost effective treatment related research. We need to look at can I give the same kind of advantage of improvement in survival of 10% at an average cost of 100 rupees rather than 
how the Western medicine today, there is nothing wrong in it. They have effective yeah. medicine. But the cost of 10% improvement is anywhere up to about 100,000 rupees into 10 injections. And that's much, much beyond the, the reach of any common man in India. So uniform care, that is your primary goal at the moment. Dr. Rajendra Badvi, thank you very much for being on my show. It's a pleasure. My pleasure.